I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure Illyrium for the Inquisition's Templars. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry should be a place of hope, not another group scrambling for answers. That must be its strength again. The Chant did much to bridge nations. Little but the Chantry ties Orle, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Andraste's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. Are you sure? Families often fight the hardest. Having grown up among four siblings, I concede your point. I found, however, that the only time two parties cannot negotiate is when they cease to speak. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. The Inquisition is only here to seal the breach, nothing more. By declaring ourselves on the side of the Templars, we became more than that. The powers have taken notice. Uh, speaking of which, I have a question, if you've the time. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I don't know if a miracle from Andraste saved me any more than they do. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Thank you. My creator, judge me. It is good that you salvaged as many Templars as you did, my dear. We will need every Templar, but they will require proper management. We also need to increase our Lyrium supplies considerably. The Chantry may still have stockpiles we can use. Cullen will look into it. He must already have a supply line. He undoubtedly did, but it was established before the Divine Conclave. The situation has changed. The breach has done more than disfigure the sky. The veil itself is broken. All mages, no matter how skilled, are now in danger of drawing demons to them. Before this crisis is over, you may find that Templars, flawed as they may be, are all that stand between us and chaos. When you say mages are a danger, are you counting yourself? Of course I am, my dear. Every mage who joins the cause is taking a calculated risk, whether they know it or not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're right. The Templars are a poor solution. They are men, and all men are flawed. That some fail does not mean that none should try. The fact remains that there is no cure for an abomination except death. Someone must strike the killing blow. Who shall lower the blade if not a Templar? Tell me something. You said future would you build for mages. <laughs> 